Hi, this is our data mining group presentation. Our title is Student Performance Prediction. This group is formed by Xiao Wei Ying, Huang Hui Qi, Ti Zi Qi, and Dan Hui Ling. So this is our research online. We have introduction, literature review, methodology, results and analysis, and conclusion. Now for the introduction. Since the 2010s, the UDB has seen a growth in student enrollment. Traditional approach to forecasting student achievement are just ineffective. Data mining could be a more effective technique for UDB to forecast how students will do in future semesters. UDB has amassed a huge collection of student data through their years of teaching in their database. This is extremely difficult to manage data, uncover relevant patterns, and locate knowledge house in a massive database. Data mining can be seen a very promising method for achieving these goals. A proposed method to solve this issue would be implementing data mining to UDB system. So data mining is the most appropriate in atmosphere of ever-growing data. Data mining enables the user to recognize and extract relevant and available information from vast amounts of data. So this is our objectives. We have three objectives. The first one is to determine the factors that affect base year composite data score. The second is to develop predictive model using three techniques, which are decision tree, linear regression, and neural network in Orange software. The third one is to select the best model according to mean square error and SE. Thank you. I'm going to continue my part with the literature review. We have reviewed six articles in our project, and now I'm going to present some of the articles in this part. The first article review is about the predicting students' academic performance using decision tree and neural network. The results show that neural network perform better than decision tree classifiers because it can find the hidden patterns and the data trends that are that cannot be detected by people or other computer methods. The next article review is about the prediction of student performance using machine learning such as binomial logistic regression, decision tree entropy and the k-nearest neighbor classifier. The results show that binomial logistic regression has the highest accuracy among the others. In data mining techniques, decision tree is a type of supervised classification that constructs a tree-like model using the attributes of a data set. Decision trees can have categorical or continuous variables. A decision tree with continuous variable is also called regression tree. Regression is a type of data mining that is used to predict a wide range of continuous values. It is a statistical method used to determine the strength and type of relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Neural network is a model for information processing based on how the human nervous system works. It consists of three layers of neurons, which are input layer, hidden layer, and the output layer. That's all for me. I pass to the next present. I will carry on with the methodology. In this chapter, we have three stages, which are the pre-processing, model development, and model comparison. In stage pre-processing, we are going to carry out the data cleaning to ensure that our data set is all filled in and high quality. There are some missing values in the dataset will be inputted with mode and average values using inbuilt widget in orange. Outliers widget in orange is used to detect outliers. There are 388 outliers and 4,351 inliers. In stage model development, we split the inlier data into training set and test set in three ways, which are the 60% of the training set with 40% of the test set, 70% of the training set with the 30% of the test set and 80% of the training set and with the 20% of the test set. There are three models developed in this study, which are the decision tree, linear regression, and neural network. In stage model comparison, the test and score widget will be used to compare the mean square error. We will choose the model with the least mean square error to determine the best model. This is the overall methodology flowchart. We can see that there are 14 attributes and 4,739 observations in the original dataset. But after the stage pre-processing, only 4,351 observations will be used. The things needed to be alert is that there are various settings for the tree model and neural network model. For tree, the subset will not will be set not more than 5, 20, 50, and 100, and the depth is 6 and 20 will be applied for each subset. The neural network will be the developed with 10, 50, 100, and 200 hidden layers. Today, doctor, so I will continue to talk about the results section for this study. So we use Orange to develop the predictive model, and this is the flow on how the data analyzed using the Orange. After undergoes the KDV process, we sample the data with the data sample widget in three different proportions, which is 60%, 70%, 
and 83% of the training set. And we will develop the decision tree models, linear regression model, and neural network model in each proportion of the data set. So we summarize each result in the table according to the proportion of the data set. So from these three tables, we can observe that the best parameter for the decision tree model in each set of the sample data is the subset should not be split smaller than 100 and the maximum depth of the tree is 6. Since they have the lowest mean square error of 53.093, 55.571 and 56.767. So for this study, we can conclude that the higher the number of the subset split with the lower number of maximum depth, the lower the mean square error of the model. Meanwhile, the best parameter for the neural network model for each training set is 200 hidden layers, which has the lowest mean square error of 53.632, 56.760, and 58.238. For the neural network model, we can conclude that the higher the number of hidden layers, the lower the mean square error. Next, the mean square error of the linear regression in each training set is 51.180, 52.280 and 51.183. This tree regression model is a multiple linear regression model since all attributes are included in the models. For the model with 60% and 80% of the training set, they have seven attributes have a positive relationship with the target variables, while eight attributes have a positive relationship with the target variable for the model with 70% of the training set. By comparing the model from each technique, we can observe that the Linear regression model is the best model in each proportion of the data set. To choose the best model, we compare the mean square error of the three regression model, and we found that the regression model with 60% of the training set is the best model in this study, since it has the lowest mean square error. So that's all for the results section, and I will pass to Zhiqi to continue the presentation. Thank you. In these studies, we have analyzed the characteristics that impact base year composite test result and created a prediction model in Orange software using decision tree, linear regression, and neural network. Our best model is linear regression with 60% of training set and 40% of the test set with mean square error equals to 51.180. These project models may not produce the excellent prediction since our mean square error is far from zero. It may be caused by the number of participants not being enough and we also only estimate the base year composite test score based on external criteria like gender, race, family background and so on. In future research, more participant and internal factors may be added in the survey or trying more parameter and different percentage of the training set. This study will help the University of Barcelona to manage student performance and to determine the most suitable method for enhancing student performance. They could create more specialized modules for various students and ensure a far educational system. The school management can accurately estimate the student performance and to increase or maintain the student enrollment to prevent the poor achiever students from dropping out of school. Many researchers now have been motivated to continue their work because of the result of the study on using data mining techniques in predicting student performance. So, not only in educational institutions, but also the companies in other fields might also be benefit from better ways to predict and track the performance. It can be used to detect the economic or environmental indicators, abnormal ECG signals, and also the reason why a circuit is not working. That's all from me.